So if you want to boost your mood in the upcoming months and smell 10 out of 10, you smell good. I got you covered. My BFF, hello. Thank you so much for stopping by. I have my cold weather sweater on, which looks a little bit like a pyjama. It's not a pyjama, I promise. I have today 10 plus 1, 10 out of 10 fragrances that are perfect for the colder months, perfect for fall. Fall actually is not my favorite season. It's my least favorite, except some days when it's sunny. I don't really like it. The days are getting shorter, the weather is getting colder, the trees are losing their leaves, and I think about all the animals that will go cold, like the birds and everything. So my favorite part about fall is the fragrances. Let's start with the least sweet one. It's a fragrance from Givenchy. It's called Enflamme, which means in flames or something burning. This uh, cap is customizable. I like this a lot and it's also magnetic. It's from their luxury collection. It's a very minimalistic scent. It has more notes than they disclose on Fragrantica, but the main ones are coffee, tobacco, and vanilla. It's very simple and classy, and it's not a beast. But not all fragrances have to be a beast, right? You can wear fragrances for your own enjoyment. It's unisex, it's not sweet at all. It can also be compared to magenta tanzanite. If you take away all the complexity and make it less sweet. So this is tobacco, vanilla and coffee. Beautiful creation from Givenchy. I used to have many. I used to have Givenchy Play. I also had Givenchy Play Intense and very irresistible, the strong version. I think Givenchy is a very good fragrance house and I love this one. Perfect for the fall weather. You can imagine it as a super dark chocolate, 80% cocoa with coffee. That's the abstract version of it. Givenchy Enflamme. Next 10 out of 10 fragrance is from Nishane Tero. I could not wait for the colder months to wear it. This has caramel, salt, black pepper and Sichuan pepper patchouli. The way this smells, it's like a sparkly peanut butter with a lot of salt and some pepper. It's almost edible and it's not sweet. It is unisex, just like Givenchy one. On my skin, it is powerful and long lasting and I love it. It's Nishane. Tero, 10 out of 10 fragrance. Next fragrance is from BDK, Gris Chanel. This bottle is abused. Whenever I go half of it and I try not to wear it anymore, which is a pity, I should wear it more. You can see how much I love this. I love all of them, but this is appropriate for any occasion. It's one of my Confidence Boosters CEO fragrance. I can wear it at any meeting, even if I'm not the leader. It has fig, black tea, sandalwood, cardamom. It is gorgeous and I love figs. Now is the season in Switzerland and I eat them, the fresh figs. If you know them, they are so delicious. They are also good for your health. They are filled with pectin. I'm not eating only sweets. I eat healthy food. It's very good for our bodies and our bodies are like a temple. So treat your temple well. Gris Chanel, a 10 out of 10 fragrance. Next fragrance is a powerhouse from Carolina Herrera, Saffron Lazuli. 
I had a special review when I got it. It has blueberry or black currant. I always confuse them. A lot of saffron, leather, and wood. And a little bit of rose. This is very powerful. In my review, I said the story that this makes me imagine. You are waking up in the morning. You forgot the alarm clock. You run to the airport. You run, you run, you get to the gate. You almost miss the flight. And then when you get there, you realize that you own a private jet. You own the entire city. This is compared to initial side effect. From all these scent profiles, I prefer Saffron Lazuli. It's a 10 out of 10 fragrance and I love it. Next fragrance is from Zerzhov. Okay, ideal. This is one of my favorites, especially for the fall weather. I enjoy it so much. It's woody vanilla. The main notes, I get a very classy vanilla. Some warm spices with cinnamon and nutmeg. The wood is not scratchy at all. I, I can't even tell that it's there. It also has some tobacco flowers and papyrus. The papyrus note is very specific if you know it as a book a little bit. And I enjoy it so much. Um, hug in a bottle. It just gives me strength during the day. A 10 out of 10 fragrance. Zerzhov Bouquet Ideal. And I also get some fruity aspects. Maybe I'm influenced by this red bottle. And the name could not have been more misleading. The bouquet is not here. I think they meant to say that it's a perfect mix of spices and vanilla and the different notes. Next 10 out of 10 fragrance is from Issa Laurent. Baby cat. We could not have this video without baby cat. I associate it with fall. It's vanilla, but a very classy vanilla with black pepper and add even more pepper. Suede, olibanum, saffron. This is another one that will get a lot of compliments. I always get compliments whenever I wear it. It's also one of my confidence boosters and I wear it to work. Such a beauty. Now we have some left that are on the sweeter side. From Keali Vanilla Royal. In my opinion, this is the best Keali fragrance. I can't wait to wear it more. It says here the note it has vanilla, sur absolu, golden rum, creme brulee, brown sugar, royal wood, and sugared patchouli. From all the Keali fragrances, this touches the most the niche side. I understand that it's not loved by everyone. For me, it smells like a creme brulee. Imagine the creme brulee and you burn the glazing and it's starting to smell also a little burnt. It is so delicious, long lasting, projecting, another compliment getter. Perfect for the cold weather. If you think that this is not good for you. It's a little weird. Try and combining it with Keali Vanilla 28. They go so well together. It's like a match made in heaven, like a puzzle. They managed to make the molecules fit together so well, and it will make this so much more approachable and likable by anyone. For me, I also like it simple. It's a 10 out of 10 fragrance, Kiali Vanilla Royal. Now I have one of the best gourmands from Bodicea the Victorious, Bodacious. This is one of my loves, 10 out of 10 fragrance. The main notes I get are almond, cherry. So imagine a 50-50 blend of cherry and almond. Also has some cognac or rum, vanilla, tonka bean. It is gorgeous. I imagine I'm eating 
a cake with cherry and almond and I put a spoon and I take a bite it's so juicy and delicious audacious Odyssey the victorious a 10 out of 10 fragrance now maybe the sweetest one in today's video from Kilian Angel Share very hyped fragrance and for a good reason it has notes of cognac cinnamon tonka bean vanilla praline oak a delicious blend it's being compared to a cinnamon roll or to an apple pie but for me it smells like my favorite dessert from my childhood the cheapest also <laughs> all kids we were going to my neighbor the parents wouldn't allow us and we would run and get what my neighbor was cooking she would put sugar she would melt the sugar so caramelized sugar with spices and cinnamon and she would turn that delicious blend into a lollipop a lollipop in the shape of a rooster this for me is the lollipop in the shape of a rooster gorgeous long-lasting compliments 10 out of 10 Kilian Angel share and the last one before we go to the bonus the honorable mention is from Dreisvan Noten Suaf Malake main notes I get are blackcurrant cacao and chestnut it has a silk accord and a little bit of rose I imagine I am wearing a dark burgundy silk dress like the top of the bottom and I'm sitting on a sofa and next to me there is a table with some deep red roses and I'm eating some chestnuts dipped in cocoa it's also the chestnut season here in Switzerland and you can find many dishes with chestnut 10 out of 10, Dries van Noten, Swa Malake. Now we have an honorable mention, a designer fragrance. We could not have this video without a designer fragrance. The one I chose is from Lancome, Tresor à la Folie. This is the one I have, it's discontinued. You can get the intense version, it's very similar. The quality here, it's top, it's 10 out of 10 for a designer fragrance especially. If you would pack this and sell it for niche, I think you could be very successful. It is very creamy on my skin, it's not powdery as I read in some reviews. And it's a blend of vanilla and some spices, some rose. It smells like a luxurious cream on my skin and it leaves a beautiful vanilla trail. Not sweet. I don't have anything else exactly like this. And I could say that this is for the same occasion and the same person as Swa Malake. A 10 out of 10 fragrance, Lancome Tresor à la Folie. And the trees are losing their leaves. I have a ritual which I started because I was not feeling well. I was not the happiest in my life. One of the tricks and the things that helped me boost my mood is going out for a run and half of my run is through the forest. I do something that will make you think that I am a hippie. I stop and I have my favorite tree and I hug that tree. It's supposed to boost your mood and at least for me it really does. Of course I watch that nobody is looking because they will think I'm a weirdo. And what I noticed is that my tree friend started losing its leaves and it makes me sad. I know that in many months it will come back again. Going out in nature, it really helps. It helps a lot boost my mood and especially when I touch a tree or hug a tree, it's wonderful. And you can do that anywhere. You don't have to go and hug a tree. You can look at the nature, look at flowers, at plants, and it's very calming. If you are curious to find out 
more mood boosting tips let me know that was it for today thank you so much for watching let me know in the comments down below which is your 10 out of 10 for fragrance in the video with supernatural fragrances i wrote at the end a quote that no one mentioned in the comments and it said magic is believing in yourself if you can do that you can make anything happen from Goethe and that is so true please try to take it literally and you will see that you can create your own reality by taking action maybe we will develop that sometimes in the near future for now I'm going to leave you with another quote which says the point of power is in the present from Jane Roberts wear what makes happy and I can't wait to see you next time bye